It seems as if they sprang up in Elwood's fields overnight. Now they're everywhere, 125 to be exact, 24 hours a day harvesting an Indiana resource that doesn't need to be planted. Turbines, cutting edge technology that literally turns winds into windfalls. Project developer Andy Melka has been on site more than four years planning for the day they'd all start turning. He says central Indiana is a perfect fit for the future. There's a lot of electrical demand, which means that the price of power is generally pretty high in Indiana. Uh, furthermore, you have pretty decent wind speeds and a really good robust transmission system that allows us to get our power to the grid. It works like this. The blades turn about 80% of the time with winds as little as 10 miles an hour. It's hard to imagine just how big these things are until you get up close. Each of them reaches about 500 feet into the air and generates about 1.6 megawatts of electricity. That's enough power to run 450 homes for an entire year. And they all route back to an electrical substation and then a connection point where Indiana Michigan Power is buying about half of it for its customers. It's far from enough to light up the state, but part of the energy mix defining the 21st century. I think that's something that the country really has to focus on. It's getting our energy sources from a wide variety of, of technologies and of, of fuel types in order that we don't put all of our eggs in one basket and we're able to more to greater withstand all the variabilities that go with energy production. And now get ready for this site to fill Grant County drives as well. The Wildcat Farm is moving into Phase 2 following Highway 13 south of Swayze and then phase three between Swayze and Converse. Commissioner Mark Bargely says that means tax revenue from the $170 million investment, plus over a million dollars they'll put into new economic development. It's going to bring in more development. It's going to bring revenue into the, the farmers that are leasing. Uh, on the other side, there may be that unusual eyesore that we have to kind of get used to, but I'm thinking Every time I drive down State Road 13, I see this development and I'm going, this is, this is amazing. And Bardsley says even though the fields will look different, most of the farmland will be preserved while the turbines put Grant County on the map for a new reason. Why can't we be a, uh, a Silicon Valley? Why can't we do some, some IT and technical things and, and be on the cutting edge? And it helps us to uh, kind of redirect our, where we've been and, and where we want to go. So be prepared for a new look on familiar drives this year. The summer crops will pop up in fields that produced a harvest all winter long, capturing nature's oldest element for a new beginning.